Yo! Today I have a quick topic. I'm going to show you how to use the analog inputs of this CNC controller. This is the UC300 ETH which I'm going to use in my CNC life and there is a possibility to connect analog inputs to this controller. Utilizing analog inputs can be done for example through a potentiometer. Analog signals can be generated using such potentiometers. Such device has three pins. Usually there is a value which describes such potentiometer. This is a 10K potentiometer, which means that the maximum value of resistance it has is 10,000 ohms. Usually the maximum value is read on the pins on the both ends. We have about 10,000 ohms, maybe even 11, but here when you measure between one end and the middle pin, you get the divided resistance. And as you rotate this knob, the resistance rises to the maximum and when you adjust the other way, it goes to about zero, close to zero, five ohms. And now what we want to do is to connect the potentiometer to one of the analog input pins over here, which will be done through a terminal block we have used already in one of the previous videos. What I have connected here to the controller is the power supply, the Ethernet cable which connects the controller to the PC and the terminal block through an IDC16 cable which allows us to connect cables to all of the pins which are there on the port. Here I have already two cables which I have wired in to control my servo spindle drive and today we will use another input to utilize the analog inputs functions. And there is the analog input readout. Analog inputs can be used to adjust the SRO, FRO and JRO. The FRO is the feed rate override and the SRO is the spindle speed rate override. Those are these two sliders. Here is the feed rate override, 0% to even 300% and same is here, adjusting from 0% to even 300%. And the knob can be assigned to one of these two sliders and there is also the JRO, which is here. It is the jog feed rate override and we can also adjust it. The analog input value can be sent to a variable, which could be used, for example, in a macro. But what we want to do, assigning the analog input channel to the FRO, SRO or JRO.
we hooked up the potentiometer to the analog input number one so I check number one and we'd like to adjust between 0% and let's say to be safe 150 if we had two analog inputs connected for example when we have two potentiometers we could assign here number two then the analog input number one would change the FRO and the analog input number two would change the SRO sadly we have only two analog inputs so there is no possibility to hook up three of them at once later on I will be using the FRO and SRO in my machine so I will be using two potentiometers and now using this knob we should be able to adjust the FRO simple right? we could assign both FRO and SRO to our first analog input which should lead to an adjustment of both of those parameters through one knob and boom here we go Let's try the JRO. And yeah, it works. Although the slider doesn't move, I have no idea why it doesn't move, but we can clearly see that the value in this window is changing. So I guess it works. So what else to add? I think that connecting such potentiometer is quite simple as you see and being honest, if you have one of those controllers which are able to utilize such potentiometers is really useful. Having the fluent possibility to change the feed rate or the spindle speed rate during the automatic cycle is really important. Because sometimes if you have a g-code that you just wrote and you are not sure if everything is correct, you have the possibility to change the feed rate to almost zero or even zero and then you are sure that your end mill or your knife when you're using a lathe won't hit your material with full speed because you will be able to react for safety reasons that's really worth the effort and as you see the effort was really low so if I helped you please consider giving a thumbs up write me a comment if you don't do already you can consider subscribing thanks for watching and see you next time.